Hello and welcome to another episode of Tom's TC. Today I'm going to show you my vlog setup, as you can see, and completely ruining the illusion of my really tidy garage by sitting here and showing you. So I thought I'd just basically go through the microphone that I use and how I mount the camera to my helmet um, and what I use. So let's have a look. By the power of Okay, so here we have our helmet ready to go. And as you can see, I've already fitted the GoPro chin mount. This is basically connected on with a, or stuck on with a 3M bit of adhesive which comes with it. I left it on for about 24 hours and then I started to use it. And it's rock solid. There's no way that's coming off. So excellent little device there. So, how do I mount up my vlog setup? Well, first of all, I mount my GoPro. So with the chin mount, you get an extra piece here as well, which goes onto the bottom of your GoPro. I've got a GoPro 8, and I also have with all that in like I say. I also have the media mod surround here. Now what the media mod gives you is a decent external microphone. And if I bring that up like that, a microphone slot here. Bring it closer. Microphone slot here, USB charging, USB C and even HDMI out. So all the bits we're interested in today are the microphone socket and the USB socket for charging. So that's how the helmet gets, uh, the camera gets mounted on. That's the angle I choose. That seems to be the best angle, like so. Then. Put the helmet upside down. This is my microphone. It's called Purple Panda, a lapel mic, and it comes with this little fluffy wind stopper as well. So what you do is you put the wind stopper over the normal microphone, and you have this little clip. And I like to mount that up on the this side here, just onto the chin wind deflector. Make sure you push that right up in as far as you can because Otherwise that's gonna gouge your head as it goes on. Then, all this gather, I just put under the uh, emergency pull out strap, like so. Now the way that I mount this up means that I can take this off whenever I feel like it. I don't have to have it attached all the time with bits of glue and stuff like that. Put in the microphone into the camera like so if you look it actually holds up really well like this I've been riding at plenty of high speeds and I've never had any issues with it falling about or fanging out so yeah really good now what I also do is I have an external battery. You can get these on Amazon, I'll put a link underneath as well. Now this one's a 20,000 milliamp, you don't need one as big as that. But basically, this with the GoPro, you only get about, well the GoPro 8 with the medium mod, you only get about 45 minutes of recording if you're lucky, on a good day. This, what I do is I plug this in here, this is a USB cable obviously, put it into a pocket in my jacket, and run it up through my jacket out onto the camera. And what that does is just give you hours and hours of recording. So you, I have a 128 gig SD card in the camera and with this attached, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just record away all day long. Now, as you've seen from other videos, this lapel mic gives really good quality. Now, 
I don't know whether it's the camera and the um, media mount that as well gives it good quality, but I had another um, microphone, a cheap one, and it didn't work as well. It used to pop, it was horrible. So this thing, really good, the uh, Purple Panda. Perfect for this situation. If you happen to have a GoPro 8, or maybe you've, you're, you've got a 9 or something like that, do it in the super wide view. Um, it gives them much better coverage, um, a much better experience for the user viewing as well. So as you can see, it's a really neat setup and really easy to do. And like I said, the best part about it is it's not permanent. The only thing that's permanent is the uh, camera mount at the front, but it's so well designed around the helmet that it's actually, you know, it's really good. It don't really cause it doesn't really affect the helmet. I had the uh, GoPro camera mount for ages before I decided to mount it on there. I used to mount them mount it on my chest, so yeah, really good. Anyway, that's um, that's basically how I mount my setup. You can see from the video, my latest videos, how good the quality is with the Purple Panda. Um, again, all the links will be below. Last time I checked on Amazon for the Purple Panda, it actually wasn't available, but maybe it will be now. But anyway, that's an easy setup for vlogging. I hope you helps you out. So as you can see, it's actually a really easy setup. The Purple Panda is a really good microphone and actually gives you a really crisp, clear response when you're talking through it. The GoPro 8 is a really good camera and with the media mod as well, it helps out. You get all of your whole system all set up in one go, which means all you've got to do is plug an external battery in your microphone. Now with the GoPro 10 coming out this week, I think, then basically the GoPro 8 is going to come down in price. So it makes it a really good camera. I do recommend it. It's actually for, for this situation and setup. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, give us a subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.